right, let's put on the other shoe. Yep. Okay, got a little bit of wiggle room. So it looks like I chose right. Usually I'm very good at guessing without putting them on. I did put them on, but I didn't have socks on. But perfect. They feel perfect. What is good, my people? I just, oh man. I think I got stung. I just walked out of Aldi. When you trying to eat right and you know do better with your body and stuff you know trim down a little bit get a little more lean you got to get the right stuff so i got the right stuff at the house but um i was kind of lacking in the fruit department plus cashews i don't know if cashews affect anybody as bad as they do me but cashews when i eat them they um let's just say they clear they clear me out it's like if you ever had yellow root or just, or if you're lactose intolerant or something like that, cashews clean, I mean clean me out. It's crazy. People tell me that that's kind of weird. That's not a common thing. It's just, my body's different. But today's just another chill day in the life. I did the fruit thing. I might go, I might go visit some family later. I'm not sure. But now a friend of mine hit me up yesterday about going for a run today. And um, for some reason, my shins have been hurting really, really, like, I mean, bad. Real bad. So bad that I have to get into this mental focus zone in order to be able to ignore the pain. Oh, shoot. You know what? I need to be wearing my seatbelt. And the running expert told me it was shin splints because my shoes were no good anymore. Because I had never felt that pain before when I was running track. So I was kind of wondering what the heck was the problem with my legs. I was like, I mean, God dang, it's not like I'm 90. I was like, why my legs hurt so bad when I run? That's just crazy, man. But yeah, so a friend of mine told me there's some pretty dope shoes I can check out down at Sports Academy. So that's where I'm headed. I got a little extra spending money and I'm not afraid to invest in myself like I did with this camera. So if I'm gonna be running on a regular basis, I might as well go get some running shoes and invest in progression. Inve there's, there's nothing wrong with investing in progression as long as you don't put yourself in the hole. Let's get it. See that? Sonic trying to tell me I need to chill. Yeah, that's what I need to do. It's hot today. Blazing hot. I gotta put some more Freon in my car. Y'all, that's sad. Traffic is so bad during the day that I can't even get over in a lane so I can get to the store. If you if you don't if you see a road coming up that you need, you better take it immediately or you're gonna be doing a whole 180 five minutes down the road from where you're supposed to be just so you can get back on track to where you was trying to go this is why i always avoid unless i need something i always avoid this road because there's we're getting a thousand people a month in this city we're getting a thousand people a month in this city and it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse i'll tell you this i ain't gonna be nowhere near here in five years i know that much take you two out Turn a five minute drive into two hours. So I'm currently in Sports Academy. I decided to come over and check out the basketballs to see if they were any better quality than Walmart. Kinda not really. You get what you pay for. When I'm in, I only have this problem when I'm in a new store. When I'm at a new store, I gotta find my car. You guys see that? See that line over there? That line is because they're only accepting a limited amount of people in the store. Everything's back on. Oh shoot, I forgot to lock my door. It's one thing you will learn about me is that no matter where I am, I always lock my doors. 24-7, 365. I only do that because last Christmas, somebody had broken, well they didn't break in, but somebody went in my car and stole stuff out of my car because I decided to break my habit of locking all my doors every single time, no matter what. And the one day I didn't do it, Somebody jumped in my car, 
It's a good thing I keep all my important stuff in the house. I, I never leave my wallet. Or, I, I never, ever, never leave important stuff like that in the car. They had all my cubbies. They had everything open. And they, they stole, like, my messenger bag that was in the back. I had, like, a messenger bag that I used for business and stuff. And they stole it. So ever since then, 100% of the time, all of my doors are locked. And this has never happened to me, but I've seen it happen to plenty of other people. I'll see cars getting broken into or some, I actually saw somebody's car get stolen right in front of me. And I was just at a random convenience store. You never know. Now, just like I did with my Taco Bell when I check the bag before I drive off. Before I drive off so I don't have to come back, which is why I bought socks. I'm gonna try these shoes on and if they don't fit the way they're supposed to, I'm going right back in there and I'm getting a smaller size in case they're too big. All right, let's put on the other shoe. Yeah. Okay, got a little bit of wiggle room. So it looks like I chose right. Usually I'm very good at guessing without putting them on. I did put them on, but I didn't have socks on. But perfect. They feel perfect. Now to test them out. At times like this, what do you do? You yeet! Oh boy. You yeet the car in front of you. Yeet! Now that I have finally exited the painful weight of traffic, Oh my gosh, I needed that. Now that I have exited the painful weight of traffic, probably gonna put in a little bit of music work, maybe study a little bit, educate myself, break these bad boys in. They don't feel bad. It feels pretty good to buy new shoes. I, I can't remember the last time I bought new shoes. They're specifically for running, but they still look kind of nice, you know? I chose black and white because you can wear that with almost anything. Always nice to upgrade, it's always nice to upgrade. Like this apartment right here. Uh, maybe in about a year or so, I might upgrade to a two bedroom because I plan on helping a friend of mine out that's gonna be, you know, kind of needs to get back on his feet. So I'm, uh, He's, he's not just a friend, he's my brother. So, once he, you know, gets a little bit more situated, I'm probably gonna upgrade to a two bedroom and we'll be like this. I'll show him everything I know, help him get exactly where he needs to go. But until then, I'm not rushing an upgrade of lifestyle. I'm, I'm just, you know, baby stepping and let thing, letting things happen the way they're supposed to happen. As long as I keep taking action. What's good, you guys? This is Jay a few days later. Forgot to close out this part. I really appreciate you guys for watching. Um, let me show y'all a, a TikTok clip of, of a behind the scenes after I put my new shoes on. Yeah, you wanna know how long it's been since I bought me some new tennis shoes? It's been three years since I bought me some new tennis shoes. Two days ago, I got me new tennis shoes. It feels good. It feels really good. The reason I waited so long to start buying myself more, you know, new shoes was because even though, yeah, I might have had a little bit of money to buy new shoes, it really wasn't the time for me to, like, buy new shoes, even though, you know, since I already had shoes to wear just to take care of what I needed to take care of. I was kind of in, like, a lower place at the time throughout the past few years, and now... Things are really, really looking up, like really looking up to where like I can, I can get a couple pairs of new shoes, a couple, you know, outfits and you know, it won't really, it won't dent me at all. If it's one thing I remember hearing a few, I've been hearing a few millionaires say this all the time. They say that if you can't buy it 10 times, don't buy it. If you can't buy it 10 times, don't buy it. And that really struck me like, now, it sounds kind of stupid to some people because I would hear some people say like, what if I got to buy a million dollar house, you know, or what if I got to buy a house like 
for you know what, whatever a hundred thousand whatever you're paying out for a house for they like what if I can't pay for a house ten times? But some of y'all aren't really seeing the real meaning behind that quote. It means if you really don't need it, and buying that thing's gonna put you in harm's way, somewhat to a degree. Then you gotta stop and ask yourself, is there really something wrong with me waiting just a little bit longer so I can treat myself to the maximum later? So yeah, that's kind of my, been my thought process for the past few years, but now things are, there's nowhere but up from here. Like things are, things are really going good. Appreciate you guys, <clears throat> appreciate you guys for watching. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. And just, and thank y'all for 950. I, it's been like a solid year or so before I've seen subscribe my subscriptions go up without me having to ask somebody to subscribe. Like I've had to, most of the channel was manually built. I had to go out and manually ask people to subscribe and I'm starting to see like people I don't know coming from who knows where starting to subscribe to the channel. And I really appreciate y'all for that. But, um, till the next video, which will probably be today. Wait, look, not, not today. This, this, is, this is today's video. Probably be tomorrow or the day after. Who knows? As soon as possible. I'll see you guys. Thanks.